is sunny California afternoon, and we find W.C. Field seated on his patio, strumming his guitar, as he is being interviewed by Miss Ophelia Snapdorf of the Lompoc Bugle. It's nice of you to grant me this interview, Mr. Field. Think nothing of it, my beauty. I'm always glad to speak for the public print. Well, I think I have about all I need. There's just one more question, Mr. Field. What is it, my beauty? Is it true that you once drank a glass of water? <coughs> That's what an accusation. I haven't had a drop of water on my tongue since the gold rush days. I was up in Nome, Alaska, and I made the mistake of picking my teeth with an icicle. The icicle melted till I nearly strangled to death. Those were the happy days. I hope they'll never come again. I crossed the frozen tundra with my trusty dog team, which I ate later. They were very good with whipped cream. At long last, I arrived at the igloo of an Eskimo friend of mine, who distilled a delectable beverage from whale blubber. Well, that's all very interesting. But, uh, when did you drink the glass of water? Oh, yes, you remember that, don't you? The water. That was 35 years ago. And I was talking to Tex Rickard and Death Valley Scotty in the old Victoria Hotel bar. I left the cafe and walked down Broadway. I must have been uh, thinking. But the next thing I knew, I was struck by a runaway street organ in Allegheny, Pennsylvania. The entrepreneur of this musical cavalcade, an Italian gentleman, was most profuse in his apologies. This poor frightened monkey bit me in the stomach in his excitement. Uh, were you ever bitten in the stomach by a wild monkey? No. Oh. I was rushed to the hospital. Soon after being hospitalized, I took a turn for the nurse, a worse. My nurse, Miss Dorothea Fizzledaco, was pretty, starched and blonde, with cheeks like peaches and cream, which I had for breakfast every morning. Things went along smoothly until one day when my doctor entered my room to find that I had a half Nelson on Miss Fizzledaco in an effort to rest a file of rubbing alcohol from her determined grip. Uh, Miss Fizzletoggle was immediately replaced by a male nurse. I recently received a postcard from Dorothea in a bottle. She is in one of the Cuckoo Islands in the Pacific. Perfectly happy, except that a mosquito carried off a pet dog while she was napping on the feet. But what about your drinking the water? Oh, it's your back to that again, yes. I was driving across the Mojave Desert in search of the lonesome Charlie gold mine. And by chance, I happened to come upon the Happy Buzzard gas station in Tap. I entered the tap room and said to the barkeep, Double slug of red eye, please. And he replied, Sorry, no liquor, partner. What of the sign that swings outside proclaiming the happy buzzard? How can a buzzard be happy without a nip? This is election day, partner, and the bar is closed. It's the law. Who made this law? The people voted for it. That's carrying democracy too far. Well, if you're so thirsty, how about a nice glass of water? Are you insane? Say, ain't you W.C. Fields? No autographs, please. I guess I am insane. Asking you to drink a glass of water. Well, I'd bet a hundred dollars you wouldn't do that. Of course I would. Did you say one hundred dollars? A century note? Yep. Get your money out. Okay. Here's my money, and here's your glass of water. Look, hideous looking stuff. Don't you put an olive or a cherry or some formaldehyde in it? Nope, just plain water. 
All right. I'll drink it. May the state of Kentucky forgive me. Well, here's over the lip. Well, I must be seeing things. W.C. Fields is reaching for a glass of water. He's lifting it from the bar. There it goes up to his lips, and there goes my hunter. He's just talking to drink. No, no, he's putting it back in the bar. Whoops, he's lifting it to his lips again. He grits his teeth. Fuck, cracky, he's... He's a drink in that water. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Fields, Mr. Fields, oh, what's wrong? Oh, get a doctor, you idiot. That's been poison. Ah!